Bad habits. We all have them, right? What constitutes a habit to be bad? A bad habit is a negative behavior pattern. It can be a behavior that affects your body, your happiness, your success, your relationships, or in short, your life. Bad habits can be hard to break, especially if it's something you've been doing for a lifetime. Hello, Thrill Thinkers. In this video, you will find 10 bad habits that could be ruining your life and advice on how to break them. Number one, eating when you're not hungry. Maybe you're eating for comfort or because you're stressed, but you're certainly not eating because you're actually hungry. According to a study by David Gale at the University of Illinois at Chicago, if we eat when we are not hungry, our blood sugar increases more than if we eat the same amount of calories while hungry. Another downside of eating when you're not hungry is your body loses the ability to recognize when it's hungry and when it's full. This detrimental habit can lead to heart problems and diabetes. If this is something you struggle with, try to eat three healthy meals a day, keep healthy snacks at home, at work, or in your car, and avoid buying junk food. Number two, skipping breakfast. Okay, so don't you love mornings? Leaving the comfort of your bed, having a healthy breakfast with a warm cup of coffee? Ugh. Let's get real, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but we don't always have time for it. Breakfast gets you energized to take on the day and its battles. According to the American Heart Association, people who eat breakfast have lower rates of heart disease, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. So, even if it's just a piece of toast that you decide to eat, it signals your body to kick your metabolism into gear. Listen to your body signals. Even if you're not hungry when you first get up, eat after an hour or two. Number three, watching TV. Do you know the most successful people in the world don't watch TV for more than one hour a day? According to a 2016 study by Nielsen, a global measurement and data analytics company, Americans watch five hours of TV a day. That is 77 days of the year sitting unproductively in front of a screen. The more time you spend in front of the TV, however, leaves less time for exercise and other healthy habits. If that doesn't motivate you, then maybe this will. Believe it or not, watching TV instead of being active or exercising your brain can also speed up your memory loss. Are you convinced yet to break this bad habit? Try to limit your TV time to two hours a day instead of five. Use your spare three hours to exercise. <laughs> Just kidding. Try to aim for 30 minutes of exercise. Good luck. Number four, smoking cigarettes. In 1970, President Richard Nixon signed the Public Health Cigarette Smoking Act, which banned cigarette ads from airing on television and radio. Sadly, most smokers want to quit and can't. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, smoking is the leading cause of preventable disease and death in the United States, accounting for more than 480,000 deaths annually, or about one in five deaths. Quitting smoking is one of the hardest habits to break due to the addiction strength of nicotine. While some people can just quit cold turkey, others don't have it so easy. If you're a smoker and need help quitting, try picking up a new habit, staying away from environments that make you want to smoke, and most importantly, get help when you need it. The American Cancer Society has useful information to help you get through cravings and tough situations. Link provided in the description bar. Number five, abusing or overusing painkillers. If taken regularly over time, over-the-counter medications like ibuprofen and aspirin can increase your risk of developing ulcers, stomach bleeding, high blood pressure, and heart attacks. Prescription painkillers like Vicodin or Oxycodone, if taken incorrectly, can develop into a habit that can damage your liver. Break the painkiller dependency by taking medications only as they are prescribed by your doctor. You can also look into alternate therapies such as acupressure or other herbal remedies. Number 6. Drinking too much alcohol. Alcohol can turn into a poison if you overdrink too often. Women who consume more than 2 drinks per day and men who consume more than 3 drinks per day increase their risk of certain cancers high blood pressure, depression, and liver damage. According to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, 
alcohol resides predominantly in body water, and pound for pound, women have less water in their bodies than men. This means that after a woman and a man of the same weight drink the same amount of alcohol, the woman's blood alcohol concentration will tend to be higher, putting her at greater risk for harm. Try limiting yourself to one drink per day if you are female, and two drinks per day if you are male. If you need help quitting, contact your doctor or reach out to friends or family members for help and support. Number 7. Tanning. According to a presentation by Dr. Deborah Cernoff at the 13th World Congress on Cancers of the Skin held in Madrid in 2010, historically, pale skin signified high status and tan skin signified that you had to work outdoors as a manual laborer. This notion changed in the 1920s when designer and fashion icon Coco Chanel popularized the idea of tanning. Instead of the sun representing sweat, and labor, it started to represent good health and relaxation. Tanning begins to prematurely age your skin. It destroys the fibers that keep skin elastic. Just a few sunburns can increase your chances of skin cancer. Try making it a habit to apply sunscreen daily. Use a high SPF sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun's damaging rays. Number 8. Not getting enough sleep. According to the National Sleep Foundation, regularly skimping on sleep can increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. When your body loses sleep, it releases less insulin. Insulin is a hormone that regulates blood sugar. At the same time, your body releases stress hormones, which help you stay awake, but make it harder for insulin to do its job. Therefore, skimping on sleep means too much glucose remains in your body, which can increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. In short, lack of sleep can make you sick. Isn't that reason enough to make you want to go to bed early tonight? If not, there's more. According to the National Sleep Foundation, skimping on sleep also makes you eat more and increases your cravings for carbohydrates and sugars. In short, lack of sleep can make you fat. If that's not reason enough for you to get early to bed and early to rise, then here's one more. Skimping on sleep makes you tired and decreases your concentration, which in turn leads to poor judgment. In short, lack of sleep can make you stupid. So, skimping on sleep can make you sick, fat, and stupid? Next time you're up late for no good reason, try reminding yourself of these three consequences. Getting 7-9 to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep will make you function at your optimal level. Number 9. Not exercising. Not all bad habits are obvious. A lot of times we don't think of bad habits as not doing something. According to research published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology, not exercising or being inactive and being obese have the same or similar risk of developing heart disease. Exercising is one of the best ways to decrease your risk of developing heart problems. The study also showed that it's never too late to start exercising. Older people can still decrease their risk of heart disease by being physically active. Try to do simple things to get yourself to start exercising. Schedule a 30-minute walk daily with your friends or family. Incorporate exercise into your TV time by doing dumbbell curls while you sit and watch TV. It can help you burn calories, improve your health, and feel good about yourself. Number 10. Phone addiction. How many times do you check your phone every day? Even when there's no notifications? Let's be honest. A lot of us check our phones countless times a day for no good reason. If you check your phone first thing in the morning before you've even fully opened your eyes, then you may have a relationship in your life you didn't even know existed. Make a commitment to yourself to live in the now. Whether it's as little a step as enjoying dinner time with your loved ones without checking your phone, it will help you appreciate the importance of being present. These 10 things could sabotage your efforts to live a healthy lifestyle. Bad habits are hard to break, but by tackling them one at a time and overcoming them, you can be on your way to a healthier lifestyle. Do you have a bad habit? Share it in the comments section. 
Do you know someone with one or more of these bad habits? Share this video with them. If you found this video interesting, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting videos.